If a shortage is declared on the Colorado River, federal guidelines dictate that Arizona would take the biggest reductions in the lower basin. Within the state, agricultural areas would feel the effects of the cuts first. We asked George Friswald, a professor with the U of A's Department of Agricultural and Resource Economics, to explain some of the challenges rural communities face when managing their water supply. Growers are going to have to either choose, either they fallow their land, you know, so they produce less, or they switch back to pumping groundwater, which they have a right to do. And they've actually been banking a lot of their, their water because they've been using surface water instead. But that said, because growers have shifted to renewable surface water, if they go back to pumping, a lot of them haven't been you know, renovating and investing in new capital equipment to pump groundwater. So they'd have to incur all the cost of doing that, or they just might not grow as many crops. People in Phoenix, people in Tucson, when you go to the grocery store, you may not notice that all that much. But in rural communities, if you're in Pinal County or areas that depend on agriculture, they're going to get hit a lot more. For example, if farmers stop growing crops, they just fallow their fields, okay, they're not buying any inputs. So anybody who sells inputs to agriculture, suddenly they don't have you know, income. Also, when farmers you know, and ranchers have money, they spend their, their paychecks, they, they, they spend their profits in the local community. So that money would go away too. So I think people aren't really necessarily going to notice it too much when they go to the checkout counter. And for things like produce, so much of our produce comes from Yuma County which has uh, very senior water rights that you know, we, we might not even notice that. So just because you know, people in the cities don't notice it doesn't mean that there isn't going to be real hurt in rural economies. This is a $23 billion agribusiness industry mm. in the state of Arizona. It ultimately affects the pocketbooks, though, of the average consumer, correct? So it's going to be through production and jobs. Like I said, I don't think people are going to go and look at their grocery bill and go, wow, um, you know, everything's a lot more expensive now because of this, this cutoff. And I think that's what makes, you know, agriculture vulnerable is because people take it for granted.